Okay, I'm just going to give up with that camera because uh, it can't even record like a few seconds of video now. The SD card in it is really messed up. The camera itself is fine, but uh, the SD card that I usually use is full because uh, it's, it's full of videos from Tallinn, Riga, and Vilnius. And like I said, I bought a new SD card here in Kaunas and it's obviously just not working out. It's obviously a defective SD card, so... Uh, I'm just going to try using my camera on my phone instead. Um, it's actually not my phone, it's my company phone. I don't, I don't have a, a smartphone myself, but that's fine. I don't think my company will mind too much if I make some videos of my vacation. I'll copy the videos off the phone afterward. Um, so let me know what you think of the video from the phone. Is it is it better? Because uh, I'm actually not sure. I, I bought a dedicated camera because I thought, you know, like a proper camera would be better than just a, a phone camera. But um, I'm wondering about that. Maybe the quality of the video here is actually better. So let me know. Give me your, uh, your opinion on that. Anyway, I'll try again. So I am here on the end of the spit of, um, of Kaunas. And uh, this is the view from the... Uh, yeah, from here it's the, it's a nice view of the uh, of the uh, you know the town to the south and to the north. So we've got the river on both sides. On the north side we have there the um, the more you know the taller, more built up part of town where the taller buildings exist. And then um, over there on the south side we have the the lower side where the more uh, you know where the single family homes still prevail. It's actually a quite nice day. Other than, other than that, it's cold. It's actually a quite nice day for um, for going sightseeing like this. So I guess it's a good uh, good day to do this. So I'm here at what I guess is Kaunas Castle or something like that. The flag of that guy on the uh, on the horse with a sword there, and also a statue of presumably the same fellow. And uh, over there, of course, we have, well, we're seeing it backwards from here, but it says, of course, hashtag Kaunas, because today you can't have a castle without a, without a hashtag. And um, I guess this is like a little amphitheater or something where... They might have performances sometimes. Looks like maybe it plays for theater. I don't know. But anyway, greetings from uh, Kaunas Castle or something. So, um, east of the old town of Kaunas is this street. And it's a pretty long street. You can see it goes pretty well straight for uh, for a fairly long way and actually in the other direction for a fair way. I mean it's not miles and miles long but it's it's kind of long and this is the main shopping street so this is kind of the new town this is the more modern area this is the the shopping area where this the street is lined with uh, with shops and other stuff as well like that's obviously that's not a shop that's a architecturo cent architectural center the architectural center looks just a bit worse for wear, but uh, actually quite a quite a bit worse for wear. In fact, I'm not even sure that building's in use. Um, I guess it probably is because it has opening hours on the doorway. Just yeah, it's not in very good repair. So this is Jonas Vilesis. Um Looks like a very very dapper fellow. Don't know who that might have been. You can look it up if you're curious. Um, yeah, I'm not going to film this whole street because, you know, it goes on for a ways, but but this is, besides the old town, this is the other main part of, uh, of Kaunas. This is just the, uh, the shopping district. This is where people go to buy stuff. Uh, you know, it's mostly, mostly restaurants if these places tend to be. It's not a lot that really gets sold in cities these days, is there? You get a lot you get a lot of restaurants, a lot of food stores. I mean food and clothing, that's mostly it. A lot of clothing stores, a lot of food stores, restaurants, and that's that's about it. Occasionally there are stores selling things like you know, electronics. You might have a phone store where they sell phones or SIM cards or stuff like that. 
Um, but, um, it's a nice little plaza here. It's just not so little, it's fairly, fairly roomy. What is that building back there? Is that, uh, gosh, I wonder what that is. It's an important looking building, and for it to have such a big plaza in front of it, it must be, must have some significance. Let's see what's going on here. Is this, it's probably a university, that would be my first guess. But let's see what this uh, sign here says. Okay, well, there's some bird dropping covering uh, the latter part of this gentleman's name. Um, I still can't tell. Oh, it's a theater. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's a, it's a, I can see from here it has the name Theatros on it. Okay, so it's some kind of theater. Um, and you can see at the end of the street there, there's some large, uh, impressive looking church sort of forming a a bookend to the street. So yeah, I'm not going to film this whole street like I said, but it's it's a nice little street for strolling around. I mean, it's basically, it's the... It is the strolling street here, I guess. It's the street for Flaneur outside of the old town. So you basically have the old town, you have this street. That's pretty much it. And just to complete the, the view or the route or the cycle, the loop, whatever, this is the church, the big church at the end of that uh, shopping street, all the way at the east side of the shopping street. And here is the view along it. You can look all the way down the shopping street and see down to the old town, like couple of miles in, uh, in that direction. And there are a couple of little plazas here on either side of the, of the church. This one has some children's playground in it, and the other is, uh, I don't know, looks like it's under construction, but anyway, this is, uh, this is the church. Okay, finishing off my time in Kaunas here in this park. This park is apparently called the Ramibez Park. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's spelled something like that. I think R M A. No, wait, R A M Y B S, something like that. Um, so yeah, um, way over there at the end of this street, you can see the uh, the Acropolis. That is the uh, that's the big shopping mall here in Kaunas. That's uh, where I got the. Um, where I got the non-functioning SD card yesterday, so you can thank them for the fact that it, my that I lost some video this morning because my SD card kept flaking out in my camera. Um, it's actually kind of funny. The mall basically consists of, I mean, it's a pretty big mall, um, although apparently not the biggest in Kaunas. I actually, I actually looked it up. Apparently there are a couple of other bigger malls in Kaunas, but they're not here in the center. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a pretty big mall, but... The only store that people go to is the hypermarket. So basically there's one huge hypermarket inside, which if you're not familiar with the concept of a hypermarket, it's basically the, the European version of Walmart, by which I mean it's a store that sells everything, not just food. So it's not just a supermarket because they don't sell just food, they sell clothes, they sell electronics, they sell household goods, things like that. Basically like every consumer product in one store together. So everybody just shops there. And the mall is full of other stores where nobody shops. So you have all kinds of clothing stores and jewelry stores and, uh, you know, electronic stores. And they're all almost totally empty. Like, they, they have almost no customers. Everybody just goes to the hypermarket. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. So this park is not far from the train and bus station. This street right here, if you just go down the street in that direction, it goes around a little curve to the left and then uh, 
not too much farther, uh, after not too much more distance on the left side is the bus station. And then if you go a little, just a little farther after that, you run into the train station of Kaunas. And I'll be heading in that direction shortly to be on my way. As I said, Kaunas is kind of a gateway city. Um, you'll probably pass through it if you go into or out of, of Lithuania. So yeah, I say my goodbyes to you folks here now. And uh, from Kaunas, I will find out where my journeys take me after this. So yeah, sorry about the continuing... I know I keep raving about that SD card, but I'm just kind of upset that I lost some video this morning. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit of a bad mood about that, but uh, we'll see how it looks. I'll try to patch together what videos I have and try to make something out of them. But um, in any case, greetings to you folks, and I'll talk to you all later.